I'm very happy to be talking to Mr. Jean Philbert Nisengamana. He's from Rwanda and he is the Minister for Youth and ICTs there. You've just won a WUSIS Project Prize for a media academy. Could you tell us about that? Uh, the project we submitted is, uh, is a training center that trains uh, young people uh, in doing uh, professional media and audio production. So it's uh, the uh, outcome number nine in the WISIS plan of action, and we are very glad today that uh, our project was uh, awarded this recognition. And it's a tremendous encouragement to the people who are driving this project, and we are grateful the, for the partnership that we have with, with uh, uh, Pixel Corps, a US-based uh, media production company, and the uh, Rwanda Workforce Development uh, Authority, which works together to uh, advance the work at that school. This is really important, isn't it? Because I know Rwanda is a real trailblazer in Africa for the rollout of ICTs, but knowing how to use the technology that you have is incredibly important. Absolutely. Today, uh, post the, uh, two, 2015, Rwanda is uh, suggesting for a discussion that we should shift the focus from just connecting people to transforming lives. And the way you transform lives is you focus on services, contents, and applications that are relevant, that solve problems uh, and uh, uh, bring solutions to issues that people face on, in, their, in their lives. And this is about giving people access to government, giving people access either to have a say in government or to an access to e-government and government services. Absolutely. We, we are doing this on, on multiple fronts. Opening government data is one thing, which is important, but also training the demand side so that people can know how to interpret the data and extract facts that can uh, uh, enhance the, our analysis and our understanding on the environment and possibly lead to better policies. It's something that uh, we, are, we are pursuing. But also, you talked about e-government. Uh, in Rwanda, we have selected five key sectors where we think that ICT moving forward need to transform and drive uh, the way uh, business is done. That is agriculture, health, education, government, and businesses, especially financial inclusion and tourism. Getting back to the prize and to the Media Academy, what are, the, what are people being trained how to do? Is it just a, a centralised media or are you trying to push things out so that people can report on their local communities? We, we are doing the, the latter. Uh, training people how you can go in a local village and report on access on, 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 on water, uh, look at how education is delivered and really be able to bring those voices into a bigger discussion uh, that affect policy but also service delivery. Thank you very much.